<clears throat> Welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. We're gonna do where we left off of me plotting what we should do next with the whole thing. So, to remind everyone, so we can go out to floor 9 with our new devil suit or costume we can wear to find out what is on floor 9. We can go to floor 10 to get fired or to steal the dagger and not get fired. I want to take the dagger and then we can go on the floor I am right now, which is going to be the first thing I do, which is go into Dashi's Dashi? In Dashi's room. And if Dashi is there by any chance, I will That's the question that actually I have otherwise have. If I save the friends by stabbing them, the other question is what is the difference if I stab them with the Kentucky Fried Chicken plastic cutlery? And what if I stab them with the actual blade? I think if I stab them with the kitchen the KFC cutlery, they might just actually die. I need to maybe stab them with the actual blade to infuse them with their animal. Like, I am the snake, and everyone else has their own thing. I think the animals maybe transfuse with the knife? Maybe that's how it works. Also, I'm just gonna, just gonna steal all this. Thank you, thank you. And anything else he's left out for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try a dashi key. I'm curious what's in here. Oh, he was building a real Sentra. He's got this weird fetish for Sentra. Clearly, can I see all the pictures? I want to see some cute pictures. There are several old Sentra Corp clippings and brochures. Sentras in all of them. So he was building a real Sentra. But what stopped before? Hmm. Welcome to Centricorp, where robotics is no longer a dream. Maybe it's just his department was something that was underpaid or understaffed. I don't know. Just a swear. That one next to the purple one. It really makes me think like the one that's right in the middle above the blue one is the real girl. Because I don't see the yellow eyes anywhere in that one. I don't know. Weird. But the real Sintra. Oh, the... Mr. Folletto? Weird. I have no idea what all these machines are for. Do the most important things like rub and through the garbage and take some water. There are several red pieces. Could it be pieces for of a robot? <sighs> That's a stupid question, man. Oh, corno cornucopia project. Cancellation and the last piece. It looks like Sentry Robot, but her head is missing. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, let's read his journal. According to the records, I found Centricorp renewed its corporate image in 1973, creating a state-of-the-art android in the likeness of the daughter of the Centra family. Nine functional models of the Centra were running across the company, guiding new employees. Will this be the mysterious Cornucopia project? After gathering information from various sources, it can be assumed that the unexpected destruction of all Centra models led the company to close to close the project indefinitely. So I'm guessing the witch had shattered all the robot versions out of anger that they were all fakes, perhaps? The AI they had developed became part of the corporate intranet, Centronet, who destroyed all the models, and why is this related to the fact that the Centronet is corrupt? Well, mine wasn't corrupt. After years of searching the company for the Android parts, oh, all, I have to f all I have left to do is find the last one an intact head. It's the heart of the android. Without it, I can't make this jewel of technology work. Hmm. According to this, if I want to bring back Sentra, I have to find her head. I have to see if her head is perhaps still there in my Sentranet computer. But then again, it's still the same thing. We come here, do we fix her first? Do we get the dagger first? Do we stab people first? Or do we go to floor 9 first? Ugh. Oh. It's a lot of questions. I have a lot of VHS tapes. 
I, I don't know, man. There's, um, I hate multiple paths for this very reason. So what do I think I should do first? Well, one thing, I want to check to see if I can enter the security room up here. Yet. No. Alright, then... I want to... Hmm... What should I do? I don't want to save it again so soon, but... Eh, fuck it. I'll check to see if I can grab her head. Otherwise, if I can, I guess I can boot her up, maybe? But I'd reload the save, or I'll save in a new save slot. So I'm, in, I'm in full blown theory mode, so if I'm ranting, sorry, maybe you can skip ahead. But I have to theorize all the potential. Yeah. This center head is part of the computer program. I need a physical. Uh -huh. <laughs> the physical head. Okay, so the physical head, this is obviously, yes. It is. It is a virtual. It is, it is just data. I was hoping I'd be able to somehow, like, bring it out of the computer. Not that that would make sense, but I mean, we are playing a fictional game. But apparently, real world logic still exists here. Okay, so we can't repair her yet. But again, it leads to the question. What if you stab people with the KFC knife versus what if you stab people with the real knife? Do you save them or do you kill them but charge the knife and you charge the knife with what it needs to be able to actually kill the witch? Otherwise, should I go to floor 9 first? It's, I have no idea. And also, yeah, the other one is, should I get fired? And if I do get fired, but I don't take the knife, does he grab the knife and hide the knife or not? God damn it. I haven't found any other contracts to... Fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it and then do it. This would be the primary time where it's like, I save it, and... I'm just gonna stab this fucking thing annoyingly in my way but yeah I'm gonna save it here so then I, all my theories I have just in case I fuck up this is, would be the prime moment just to have it so I fuck, have a fucking save then all other future saves will be on a different save yes let's see if I'm gonna have my head shoved in again yep who the fuck's doing that come on that's rude Ow. Oh, wait I can't save in No, wait, yeah, yeah, there it is. Last save was from the 31st of May. Okay, so let's first get caught by Hugo without grabbing the knife to see if he confiscates or just takes the knife. If he doesn't, then I'll take it after being fired. I'll get fired, but just not leave. So, let us get caught. Let's talk to Hugo. The knife should be there. Wait, the knife's not there. Or he has it on him. Wait, where is the knife? <laughs> he puts it down when he sits in the chair. Interesting. Okay, so if he grabs and... If he picks it up and... He def... I have to definitely time it then. So it's like... Now. <laughs> It'll definitely be one to, uh, I think the theory of being caught, um, because I thought it would just be there, he'd just leave it on the table, but the fact that he picks it up and puts it down, I, then he'll, he'll just grab it when he talks to me. He, he wouldn't show it while he's talking to me, he'd just pick it up. So, we're just gonna keep the dagger and not get caught, because then he'll confiscate the dagger, I need the dagger. But in the case that I'm wrong, we do have a save as backup, so whatever. I'll go with this pathway of having the dagger on me without him ranting his stupid story. We just gotta get not- we just gotta not get caught. And then go to floor 9. Fuck you, Hugo. I'll stab him later, maybe. Oh, it's an achievement. Wait, what? Stole the dagger from Hugo's hands. Interesting. Who knows if that was a linear or mandatory or not? But, nonetheless, I'll go to floor 9 now. 
we'll have tons of time to stab people with either or. The ritual dagger, a thame that serves both as the weapon and protection against the witch. Yeah. Alright, now, we'll see what's up in here. We'll fulfill all my things I wanted to do, except not stab people. We can do that later, because I, we don't know if we're going to get any future information. Because what people have been leaving in the comments, they're all logical theories. Like, people telling me it's where you met the person, or where the person's likely at. So it's like, floor four would be where Kate likely is, and floor three... What, what is floor three? Floor three doesn't have anyone. I don't know, it's just it's re be where they should be. Like, Hugo would be floor 10 if he was wrapped up. But let's just leave that for now. Let's not think about that for now. I am the devil. And I'm protected. What? Hello? What the fuck? I'm here for the costume party. What? Suguru Tanaka, the blood of the devil. Centricorp. Exhibition, the blood of the devil. Do you dare to look directly at the cursed picture of the lady in red? Thank you. What? I can't access my inventory. What? Do I just leave now? What? That can't be right. Do I have to go around it? What? Title, the man on the right is lying. Oh god, a puzzle. The man on the right is lying. Uh. Tenth construction of the healing church. So this church is lying? Tenth construction of the healing church. The man on the right is lying. If the man... I guess... I'm so confused. Where else can I go, though? Up. Here we are. The fuck? The new adorers. That reminds me. It was that portrait that was in the Centra net. I never filled that in. I wonder if I missed out on that. Method. Olivier. There's a painting missing here. Hmm. Tabal tabalistic or tabalistic? I'm gonna think it's tabalistic castle. In terms of pronunciation. Pronunciation, just in case people get upset at me. Am I still running forward? I do believe so. Or else I'd hit a wall. Let's just keep running until something happens. Hmm. About to skip the head? Or, oh, I didn't go anywhere. Nope, oh, to the left. It's a red cocktail. Not yet. It's another black scar. Maybe it can be useful. Hmm. Well, 
and start the party, even though we should not drink! It tastes strange, but I think I've got my strength back. We're not even done then. What what is the point of all this? Strength? What's strength back? Okay, well we found more areas, I guess. What? The hidden meaning of numbers. Antique lamp. My family had a lamp like that, actually, when my uh, birth home. Isn't that from Adventure Time? No one could determine his position. Weird. And this thing. I hope that thing isn't alive. I think I saw these already. No. He's arriving at his destination. Glass eating meat. I'm so confused. It's just this entire giant area of bizarre paintings. But I have a blank one. So likely at that one... Okay, more paintings I didn't see before. At that one place that was missing a blank, I'll probably have to put it in. He was the only one who talked to him for a long time. No breathing on me, witch. Oh yeah, I can't enter my... I have, hmm, if I can't access my inventory, I wonder how I'd put the painting up if not automatically. The creature's skin was whitish. By looking at it, at least from this angle, it just looks like goatsy. Well, let's continue, I guess, exploring a little. The one on the right is lying. Aren't these just, like, normal paintings in real life? Because at least the one... I don't know, some of them... I'm not sure if some of them are familiar in any way, or just... I'm mistaking it for something else. I'm just really confused right now with the meaning of all this. But let's put the... There we go. I put up a blank and... I'm not sure if anything would happen. Like, what's the point of any of this? What does it mean? Oh, 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 oh. Sentra! How can I get you out of here? Daddy? Oh, jeez. What's that? I'm Brian. I had to put this costume on to get in here. Daddy? I don't know what's wrong with her, and I don't see how I can get her out of this glass case either. I don't think she was here before. Maybe putting the painting is what revealed her. And I can't access my inventory. And she's awkwardly calling me daddy. Wait a second. Oh, that's where the breathing came from. She didn't do that. That, that painting... Do I have to catch the witch in the painting and grab it? Maybe that's what I need to do. She has to be in one of the blanks. Oh. I can use you. Let's go, partner. What do you mean, dot, dot, dot? Let it run. Why, why am I not... Oh, well, I can't access inventory to put pink ink in it. I want to put ink in it and make it charge and smash the glass. I might have to keep seeing the witch in the portraits. Maybe the more I do, the more it's going to move? Because something's changing the more I see, I think, the witch and touch things. So I'm going to skip ahead until something new happens. Also, where's that blonde dude? Is he also cocooned? There you are. 
What if I try to grab it while it's still in the painting? Come here. The fuck? Weird. What does that mean? I took the drink. Was she meant to attack me? Am I not meant to touch her? She said, what was the pamphlet? I can't look at the pamphlet. God damn it. Do I have to look at one of the paintings in the correct order? I'm gonna have to hope maybe the the blood cocktail is replenished. That isn't shit. Nah, I don't want to be walking this slowly. Might have to go back. I'm super confused. Maybe I should have. Well, I mean, a lot of things run in my mind. Like, what if I would have just stabbed the painting with a dagger? But nope, I can't look in the inventory. There's so many big what ifs. I don't think I'm meant to leave until I rescue the Sintra head, though. But the other curiosity is why is there so much blood here that wasn't my own blood? The blood was always there. Very curious. Do you dare to look directly at the cursed picture? Am I just meant to then stare at her is my question then. Because I was wondering that. Next time I see her I'll just stare and not look away then. There. Do I stare, stare, or do I click and stare? If I get attacked by her one more time, I'm dead. It's definitely a weird painting. Or just looking the one with the blood was probably the wrong thing? I don't know. Nope. I am dead. I'm fired. Shit. Uh, is there a quick save, maybe? Ah, oh, emergency stairs. Fuck me. That's just fucking weird. I don't know, man. Um, what did I do, by the way? I hate you. Just, I, did I check level 3? I think I did. So I just have to steal the dagger again and check back on the... Oh, check back the museum. Fuck, man. Alright, so I'm back in this room. The Sentra head is actually still here. Daddy? Daddy? I'm going to presume then what I have to do is it's a guessing game. Like, if I look at her directly here, I'm gonna get attacked. He was the only one who talked to him for a long time. But the more I look at the right picture between left and right, the more... Let's relook back at this thing up here. No, it's still sealed in here. It's just trial and error. Like, she's in this one. I'm not gonna look at her. Looking at that, though, we have to see what kind of progress it makes, because we need... Oh, where is that fucker? Up here. Yep, see? Must have done it right, because that pole is now down. Something had to have happened because of that. However... We need to put the portrait there so she can go there, or else I'm probably fucked. We need her up here. Probably. Because it's symmetrical. Symmetry is nice. So she should be down here, if anything. Nope. Then back where I fucked up, probably. Ah, there she is. Now which one's the right one? No, nothing's changed. Aha! 
I did it. There you are. Spaderman. Or Spader. Amazing. Every time I see it, I get goosebumps. I should be a sin. It should be a sin to admire such beauty. You can start. Uh, I really liked what you did last week. Did you bring the hooks and more of that delicious blood? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just teasing you. Who are you, anyway? My name is Pasternak. You're that party boy. How are you doing? Did you enjoy the exhibition? More or less. What did you like best about it? Sentra. Mmm, Sentra. You mean the android, don't you? Hang on a second. Oh, jeez. It's a unique piece. Not just because it's the only one left intact, but because, according to its serial number, it's the first one ever made. The one that served as a model for all other androids. This one was never shown to the public. It was found a few years ago, hiding in the office of the company's founder. This would be the closest replica of the actual daughter. Rather than... It seemed to be more human than android. Well, that's a surprise. It's never said anything before. Interesting. I have a feeling it likes you, Pasternak. What do you say we make a deal? I'll give you the android if you answer one question. What kind of question? It's a little personal, but it's a very simple question. Alright. I'd like to know why you're doing this. What do you mean? Please don't think this is some kind of trick question. I'm just curious. It fascinates me to see people with that determination in their eyes, ready to do anything to achieve their goal. So what do you say? Why are you doing this? Well, because I want to make things right. Hmm. Because I want to finish off the witch. Alright, alright, alright. I understand. But what you're telling me is your goal, your purpose. I'm asking you why you want to do it. Why are you trying so hard? Why don't you hide or give up? I don't know if I'm making myself clear. What is it that mo that motivates you, that moves you to do all this? Because I want to do something of my own. I'm not sure if this would reflect whether or not I get the best ending. If I was in the shoes of the character, I think the most genuine answer I would give is the first one. This character, it's their first job. They've had chances to leave, so clearly the most accurate thing that would be for them would be the... Hmm, it's, it would be both. I'm going to just say, because I want to save my friends, because I don't want to risk the possibility, the possibility that answering the first one will mean that my motives aren't to save all the friends, because to me, saving all the friends is what needs to happen to actually defeat the witch. Friendship is a very powerful motivation, and these times, we sometimes forget that word, or empty it of meaning. Don't answer me if you don't want to, but have you been friends with these people for a long time? The truth is, I've only known them for a few hours. Ha. Well, maybe it's more about you than it is about them, isn't it? Like a feeling you've extrapolated. You want these people to be your friends, and that's why you want to save them. And so if you think about it, it's quite a selfish motivation. Oh god, excuse me. I'm a pain in the ass about these things. I didn't mean to judge you. I, do, I want to thank you for this time, Pastor Neck. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Please take the android with you. If you have nothing else to do here, let me at least walk you out. Sometimes this place can be a little disorienting. Strange. It's a red cocktail. I'll drink it. Should I tr- oh. Where is... Where is it? Where is it? Where's Sentra? And where's the fucking dot matrix printer? Are you going to control that and try to attack me as a boss? If so, I don't have the time. And that had to end the episode. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. Why is she calling me daddy, I wonder? I wonder if I'm an, an, Ill an illegitimate son. I was just like adopted and shit. 
Oh, I guess I won't be needing this costume anymore. No, oh, I want to keep it, man. It's nice to have all my stuff again. Central, let's go. Weird. He really just did lead me out, like he said he would. Well... Uh-oh. Security theft of goods from Centricorp. Uh-oh. Uh... What? What's that noise? Okay. Wait, isn't that one of the- from one of the paintings? I'm gonna go and leave here as a cliffhanger. Oh, let's leave it right here before things escalate even further. I hope you enjoyed this episode and look forward to the next one. If you're enjoying, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.